One of the features of MyBlueprint.ca is the ability for you to be able to create a e or electronic portfolio, a place where you can store and locate both your personal and your career experience throughout grade 10, 11, and 12. To access my portfolio, you go to your home page and click the down arrow, which then gives you a drop menu and you will see the heading portfolios. Click portfolios and when you wish to add your own portfolio, you go to the block on the right hand side which says a plus sign plus add portfolio. You give your portfolio a title, your name or whatever you would like your portfolio to be called and a description of your portfolio. I've created my own portfolio just as a, a quick review for you. I've included my name across the top, I have a banner picture, I have an avatar, all the things that you can do here. I've added how to build a snowman, I've added a lesson plan, and if you want, you all, if you want to add anything, just add a box. And there's three choices, add recent, so you would add the information that you collected on your five surveys, your goals that you had for your grade 10 year, your resume that you prepared in your grade 10 year, the cover letter that you prepared in your grade 10 year. All of that information can be uploaded into your portfolio. Of course, you can also add a journal, anything that you would like to write about, any reflective response that you have about the course or about a particular item, uh, something that you want to remind yourself of. A journal entry is something that's really a personal. It's something that it's a writing of the things that took place or happened to you throughout your grade 10 year. And you can accent, enhance it by adding videos, by adding pictures, and adding links. You can also add some media. You know, if you want to upload a picture or a video that is specific to the course that you would like to show, maybe you did a great Animoto video, or maybe you did a great Prezi presentation, and you would like to share that and put that in your portfolio to demonstrate what you've learned, or maybe a file, your career project, this is my plan, this is where I'm going to school, or a financial plan, this is how I plan to, these are my costs for when I go to university. So there's all kinds of things that you can put in your portfolio. You're going to have to, in grade 12, you're going to have to share your portfolio with your counselor or your teacher so that it can be assessed because it is a school course. And all you need to do is have the email address of either your counselor or your teacher and then send and they will get a copy and access to your portfolio. The thing is you can also download it and make a make a hard copy so that you have a soft copy for yourself, right? If you want to keep it in a scrapbook or if you want to do something with it. So I'm hoping that this part you will really enjoy because it is an opportunity to place all the work that you've done in one place.